This is our friend Yido, and he said this. I was on a three-game loss streak, and I told myself I'm going to bed on the next L. After a 25-minute struggle, we won and started my five-game win streak to rank one. So this is basically, he hit rank one. I don't know if you guys seen it. He tweeted and said, Mom said it was my turn to be rank one tank. Rank one tank, 150 set. He's a Ramatra main, bro. 44 hours on Ramatra. Ramatra actually needs to get nerfed, bro. He actually does need to get nerfed. Okay, anyways, let's see our boy Yeetle. Okay, so his team is running Zenyatta Kiriko, and the other team is running Mercy with a pocketed Sojourn. No, I'm going to be honest with you. They need to rework Ramatra, though. Like, he gets his ult way too fast, and especially in overtime, when you have to go to the point or the objective, you just lose if he has his ult there. So this was him coming off a five game... Oh wait, how many? Five games? Oh, he, he won five games in a row. He was coming off a, off a, off a massive, like, three-game loss streak is what he said in the message. I don't know why people are running Zen, though. Why are people running Zen? Isn't, isn't he not a good character right now? There's so many better characters. Mercy. Lucio. Eriko. Mercy's literally busted right now. Mercy is broken, bro. Having the ability to... Uh, I guess the Discord's for uh, Arissa. Having the ability... That was a nice dodge. Having the ability to res someone in an FPS game when they die is insane. Oh, the Zen's on the flank, man. That's crazy. And I guess that's actually really good for that ult, too. Like, you guys don't know how strong a res actually is. Like, you're down a player, the other team gets a pick, and you bring them back from spawn. Uh, bring them back from the dead. Or Bap Kiriko. A lot of people do pick Bap Kiriko for uh, double immortality. Double immortality, bro. They need to... Uh, someone said it. Romatra's ult is on the same level as Hanzo ult. I think... Because you know how fast you can get Hanzo ult? That's how fast you can get... Uh, I think it's like 1,300 damage. Oh, he does it! When you look... Oh, wait a minute. He does it. When he gets ulted, he looks up and he, d he doesn't take the full 50% damage? Where is he looking, though? Where he got lifted? In the middle? Or he, you just look up? And then he gets slammed? Oh, wait. Did he also get Suzu'd? Oh, he also got Suzu'd, bro. Never mind. I was about to say, how the hell did he take no damage? He got Suzu'd. I'm pretty sure that works, though, right? Oh, he's showing you some tech how to get to the high ground. Hog. How did his team win? How did his team win this? Team looks like he's getting rolled. Thank you, brother, he said to Zenyatta. Wow. No, looking up does not make you immune. When you get when you get Ramat when you get Ramatra. When you get lifted up by Sigma. If you look up in the, or in a certain direction, you don't take 50% of his damage from his ult. Yido has been literally no lifing this character, though. He just started his unranked to uh, GM or top 500 or rank 1 or whatever on Ramatra. Uh, by the way, Motion, appreciate the massive Prime sub, my friend. Oh, he has ult already, dude. Alright, oh, he has ult already, I mean. Uh, 
Okay, wait a minute. Ye this ult, bro. I don't like this ult at all, man. They need to- they need to buff his ult charge by, like, a little bit, man. Like, at least by, like, 25% or something. No, not a nerf. Uh, the, or nerf. Nerf it by 25% more. Whatever, 25% more damage and everything for to get his ult charge. To get his ult. Dang, he's getting shredded. Looks down so he doesn't get headshot. Dude, I will in dude, his punch is literally insane. And he almost has his ult. He almost has his ult for this. Thirty-seven seconds is actually not that bad. I will give you is, under my protection. is this guess that my SR? Yeah, this is guess my SR. What SR do you think this player is? Silver 4. You guys are... You guys are... I can't wait. I can't wait until the people say... Oh my god, bro. What is this gameplay? I do this and I'm in gold 3. Like... We're, we're spectating our, the rank 1 tank play right now. Needle stole rank 1 away from uh, a few people. Wait, does he actually do damage through the, the, the suck? Wait, he actually does. Wait a minute, this is insane. Dude, that is insane. Oh, he's gonna probably go behind him. Ooh, I thought he was gonna go behind him. Pop his ult from behind him. There's no way he's gonna get a good ult here. There's too much- there's too much open area. Oh, man. Yeah, that Discord war for the other team. That- that hurts. That hurts. Oh, he's gonna get deleted. No, he's not actually gonna get deleted. No way. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, this map is kind of tough when you have a Junkrat player. Junkrat players really can't do anything until second and third point. This map is way too wide open for them. But he's, he's not gonna switch because he's a, I think he's a Junkrat main. He's a Junkrat specialist. Oh, he actually popped his ult there? Oh, there we go, he did it! He looked up and took no damage! He looked up and took no damage from the Sigma ult! Yo, he's actually really good with his, uh, cooldown usage. After he gets out the form, he puts his shield up, tries to play the shield. Wait, did he have Transcendence? Wait, he wasn't Transcendence? I, didn't. I was just staring at the bottom left of my screen. Whoops, maybe it. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe I'm just blind. It didn't even look like he took half health, though. It looked like he literally just got...
The dragon hey. No miscalculations will cost you everything. Understood. Yeah, I feel like Ramatra gets ult way too fast, man. And for how good his ult is, I I don't know, man. Oh, that poor Zenyatta is probably dead. Unlucky, man. That's actually some pretty cool, pretty cool tech, though. Oh my goodness, man. Yeah, that character needs to get a nerf. I'm sorry, your wrist is broken. Wait, what is he doing? 35 seconds. What is this man doing? Wait a minute. This man literally just ran it down mid and just... That was a good hey, that... Damn, that's tough, dude. I don't how does this team even win this? He literally just ran the point, popped his ult, killed one person, tried to protect the res, and then his team just somehow followed up after struggling the whole game. And he's back at 40% ult charge already after using his ult. I mean, Ido literally did say in his message to me, he said, I was on a three game loss streak and I told myself I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the bed on the next L. And then he won his next five games, which is includes this one to hit rank one. Which is pretty crazy, bro. That's why I don't know, that's why I don't get sad on, on Lost Streaks, because I know Overwatch is all about 50-50, and even if I start my stream and I go 1-6 in six or 1-5, in five, I know by the end of my stream I'm going to be like 8-10, and 10 or like maybe even 9-9 nine and nine or something. Didn't you go 0-9 and nine yesterday? What do you mean by that? I, can't, I couldn't go 0-9 and nine yesterday. I'm literally top 50 in... It, it, right, I'm like rank 58. I literally could not do that and still be this rank. I'm used to you losing 24/7. Sorry, and yo, listen, too soon, man, too soon. How are you gonna, how are you gonna kick me when I'm already down, bro? Oh, I don't know if that's worse. Does that work? Oh, he, he still made it back to point. Overtime situation. Two people. Two people died. They got a res off one. This isn't looking good. I'm, I don't even know how they win this. Dude, he's doing nothing to the Ramon, uh, the, the Orisa. How does this team win this? Two times. They should have lost on second point, and they should have lost on third point. The other team is actually hard trolling. Oh, the heat, the insane heals, holy sh uh, Yeah, you, you hear that? You hear that? This is why when you're playing support, you support, you don't heal your teammates, and your teammates say thank you, and you guys pop off and win. That's why you support. Thank you. As a Kariko main, I agree, but I'm offended. As a support player, I agree, and it's annoying. Yeah, see? No, bro. You got P you got ML7 going around saying, Hey, oh my god, my DPS can't do anything. If you don't take any damage, you won't get healed. Like, no, nah, listen. You and Flats must hate each other. Flats. 
Who's flats? Who's that? Like Minecraft? I don't know. I don't watch tennis. Anyways. Wait, no way. No way. Oh, he was the only one there. Never mind. Uh, his team's right there. Look how look how much space is right there, bro. Look how much space is right there that the the, the tap and Dexy XO didn't even like walk forward. Poor Yeetle over here is trying to create some space. Oh man, there's no way they win this. That's a guy. That's actually a really good push for one minute. This is still a really insane push for one minute. Even though his team shouldn't have even been here in the first place, they should have lost on second and third ten minutes ago. I really love Ram's voice lines. He actually has cool voice lines. I just I just don't like how they made some characters just talk non-stop though, but it's it's nice. Listen. At least I'm able to hear the character instead of the voices in my head. It helps. Oh, he's probably gonna get railed here. Yep, that's very unlucky. Uh, Jelly, by the way, appreciate the massive prime sub. Take everything from them. Dude, that's a cool voice line. You can't hate that one. Oh, getting the mercy. Oh, there's two, there's three picks overtime. Yeah, there's, they win, they win this. Oh, and he has Ramacho. Like I said in the beginning of the. In the beginning, you have Romacho, you win in overtime, dude. And you cannot hate that voice line, bro. I will speak to you in the language you understand. Violence. That is a sick voice line.